The Impulse AF has long been one of my all-time favorite vintage Polaroid cameras. It's affordable, it has some great features, and it takes awesome images. But after all these years of recommending the Impulse AF, it got me wondering, what about the Impulse not AF? Polaroid has always been in the habit of making a thousand variants of the same camera with like one or two features removed or added and just like a slight variant on the name. So these two cameras are essentially the same, but one has an autofocus system and one does not. So how much of a difference does that actually make? Because Polaroid Impulse can be had for almost nothing, whereas while the Impulse AF is relatively cheap for what you get, it's still a more expensive and in-demand camera. And I bet there's quite a few people out there who thought they were getting an AF and ended up accidentally getting the not AF. And that got me to thinking like, is the Impulse just like a secret gem out there? Like, is it something that's actually be a camera worth finding and buying? Or is it, you know, just another box type 600 that's whatever. So the main difference as hinted by the name is that one camera has an autofocus system and one does not. The autofocus system is more than just the autofocus system. It actually means there's a whole different lens assembly in it. The Impulse AF is one of my favorite cameras because the lens actually focuses. So the Impulse obviously does not have the focus system. And you know, there's nothing wrong with that per se. Like you can still get great images out of a fixed focus Polaroid vintage camera. Like I always recommend for people who are just starting out and really don't want to spend money to just get a fixed focus box type camera because I mean, I've shot them for years. They're fine. They do the job. And this basically exactly the same as all the others. It doesn't have like a close up lens, like the one step close up, but that plastic lens thing that goes over top, it's always been kind of a joke, doesn't really work. So when we look at images taken by both cameras, you really can see the difference in sharpness, especially the closer your subject gets to the camera. These fixed focus lenses really struggle with portraits, especially if it's like a single person in the portrait and you want to get a little closer. If you're taking pictures of landscapes or something that's like more of like an infinity focus point, you're going to do a lot better with these cameras. So if you shoot with these limitations in mind, you can get an acceptable image out of this. So beyond image quality, there's actually a lot to like about the Impulse, mostly because it's almost identical to the Impulse AF. The really the only feature that's missing other than, you know, the sonar system is your timer button at the top here that allows you to take like selfies and stuff. But yeah, I actually really like this camera body. I know it's not like the iconic Polaroid necessarily, but I like the lack of like the big flash bar on the top because sometimes it just takes up a lot of space. This is a really compact camera for what it is and it's easy to slip in bags. It feels nice. These rubber grips haven't like disintegrated with time. You have a little screw hole for tripod. Also, there's no compromises on the viewfinder, which is great. Like the viewfinder on this camera is one of the biggest that you'll find on any box type fixed focus Polaroid camera. The Polaroid one step close up has a teeny tiny little hole that you have to look through as this is like you know a pretty bright viewfinder and really honestly i prefer to use this camera over a lot of the polaroid cameras that are sold today unfortunately modern day polaroid cameras have a lot of trouble with you know focusing with auto exposure so i often get better results out of a camera like this than i will with like you know a hundred dollar polaroid now so if you're looking to jump in the polaroid for not much money i think one of these is a great place to start you can probably find this camera for the same price as a single pack of film. This 1990s era of design just, I just really like it. I don't think it's super trendy. It's not something that we really glamorize, but I think both of these cameras look really good. Now, would I seek it out? No, it's not that special of a camera. Like I would say it's probably one of my favorite fixed focus Polaroid cameras, but if you're gonna spend some money and you're gonna spend some time researching a camera, I would go with the Impulse AF or any other autofocus capable Polaroid camera. So what do you think? Have you shot with the Polaroid Impulse not AF? Is there another fixed focus camera that you like it better than this one? Do you have any memories of shooting with this camera? Let me know down in the comments. That does it for this video. Thanks for watching and happy shooting.